let's start and let's frame this whole conversation today with trading deadline deals and rumors and the fantasy impact of it, okay? Sure. Okay, so let's start with a couple that have been done. Jeff Kepinger was traded to the San Francisco Giants. Now, from a fantasy perspective, are you bullish on his chances of putting up some numbers? Because let me give you a, a, my opinion, first of all. I've picked him up and dropped him probably about eight times this year. He's been a nice fill-in for me at shortstop when Jeter wasn't going well. He has multi-position eligibility. He always seems to be available on my wire. But now all of a sudden, he's going to get a lot of playing time in San Francisco. Uh, is there potential for him to do what Cody Ross did last year? I don't know if I'd go as far as Cody Ross. I mean, I think in terms of fantasy perspective, I think it's a mild upgrade because of the fact that he already was seeing a decent amount of time in Houston. He, he moves to... As you mentioned, to uh, San Francisco, probably a better lineup overall, but a lesser park in terms of the park to hit in. Again, it's not that Minute Maid has been so great offensive lately, but obviously a little bit better of a homer park, obviously, than uh, than out in uh, San Francisco. But in terms of fantasy impact, I think for him it's, it's mildly negligible, maybe a slight upgrade, just given the fact that you know Mike Fontenot is not really a guy he's going to lose a lot of time to. Miguel Tejada had been seeing some time at second base, but likely with the uh, abdominal strain and landing on the DL, he's going to be out a little bit. We'll give... Uh, Kepinger a chance to sort of run with the job. Obviously, I think the guy that everybody wants is Jose Altuve, which is the guy that uh, Houston just called up, and they made room for him, obviously, by dealing Kepinger over to uh, San Francisco, opening up a spot for him on their roster. And, Jan, one of the things you do a great job of, just like you did there with Kepinger, which I encourage people to listen closely, all of these moves have an effect fantasy-wise on a half a dozen players, if not more. The team they were traded from, the team they're traded to, who's going to replace playing time, what it's going to maybe even light a fire under somebody's butt. So while we haven't had a lot of sexy moves, last week we spent a lot of time talking about K-Rod and the implications of that. Another one, the Pirates, we had Tom Smith on giving us an update on what's going on with them. They already made one move. They traded for Jason Grilly. Not a lot of fantasy juice there with Jason Grilly, is there? No, not really. Not necessary guy to really have a lot of juice for. Again, Pittsburgh is one of those guys who have been mentioned in terms of given where they are in the standings, given the fact that they don't seem to be dropping anytime soon and that they are remaining in the race and leading the Central right now that, that's been rumored to potentially be, uh, as opposed to in the past, where they've been somewhat of an, acquire, you know, an acqu acquirer in terms of getting talent, as opposed to in the past where they've been one who've been shipping talent sort of away to try to get prospects. So uh, Tom gave us uh, some thoughts about what the Pirates are doing from inside. Again, his website covers the Pirates on a daily basis. He was on his way to the game, actually. And there's a lot of talk in Pittsburgh about either Hunter Pence or Josh Willingham and the type of bat they might want to add. They are contenders for the first time in a while. It's a foreign feeling for them there after 18 losing seasons. Who would you rather see the Pirates get? And again, talk about those two guys in particular and fantasy impact if either Hunter Pence or Josh Willingham goes to the Pirates. Well, again, I mean, either one of those guys obviously is is, a, is an upgrade on what they have. I mean, you got Andrew McCutcheon, who's an all-star in center field. you got Alex Presley, who's come up, who's done a phenomenal job for them with the, the injury to Jose Tabata. And right field has sort of been a mishmash of players that they've been using. So the question, if they can get an upgrade in right field and are truly believers in Alex Presley, getting either a Pence or Willingham is, is, or maybe even a Belcham that's been rumored is an upgrade. And again, the guy who's probably could be on the block as odd as it seems that they got him from the Yankees a couple of years ago, could, they, could be Tabata is one of the main guys who they're going to end up turning over in any kind of deal that they make. Pence or Willingham would be upgrades in right field. Beltran will be an upgrade in right field. The other alternative they have, obviously, is when Tabata comes back is maybe shifting either Presley or Tabata to right field using the other guy in left field whereby they don't make a lineup change. But the other question is maybe they make a change at first base where Lyle Overbay or Garrett Jones really have been setting the world afire. Maybe they go out in the marketplace and get themselves a first baseman.